Hey everyone, happy Friday. Thank you for joining me tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I am here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's a time where we can relax and craft together for about an hour here in the evenings. And I typically work on projects from beginning to end. Uh, today is different though. Today is the first Friday of the month. It is February now and uh, the first Friday of every month we take a break from whatever we're working on and we work on something else. We work on something that we haven't worked on in forever and we uh, one of those unfinished projects that we just want to get going on a little bit more. So tonight, you guys, this is a project that has been sitting around forever. I have a bin in my basement of just cut up clothing and uh, just like old fabrics, old sheets and clothing and that sort of thing. And I've been meaning to cut it up to use it in a quilt, cut it up into squares. And uh, I'm going to cut them up tonight, but I'm going to do it for the purpose of using them as leaders. So some of you guys might be familiar with all my little fabric scraps. I use these uh, at the beginning of when I sew, the beginning of a, like a row of sewing. Uh, it's the leader. I use it to lead and end each uh, sewing, uh, sewing a seam. And uh, I do that just so I don't have long strands of thread and it's easier for the sewing machine to jump from a piece of fabric to another piece of fabric. I like, I just like using them, uh, the leaders. So instead of leaders, I would like to use these fabrics that I cut up. So instead of leaders, I'm gonna actually, whenever I need to start on a sewing project, no matter what it is, I'm gonna use one of these squares that we cut up instead. So eventually I will have a bunch of sewn together squares and uh, um, that'll, I'm actually using my leaders <laughs> for something for later. So I'll show you guys what I need, mean a little bit more. So I'm gonna uh, turn you around and we'll get going. So happy first Friday, everyone. So here's what I'm saying. So anytime I start and uh, end a seam, I always have have uh, this little leader here. And you can see I've used them a bajillion times, right? Every time I start and end, I just uh, use, it's like a little tab uh, to finish and end my row. But instead of just using this tab until it's so full that I just have to throw it away, I thought I could sew little half square triangles together, little squares together, and then eventually I'd have a whole pile of half square triangles ready to be sewn into a quilt. Oh, Amy, you do that and uh, eventually have blocks of little squares, exactly. So uh, I thought, you know, it's been on my mind forever as a, a neat technique to try. And you know what? I love the idea of using up, uh, using up fabric that I have laying around. This is actually clothing that I've cut up and then just having it available for these leaders. I have this cute little basket that I thought they could all sit in when I'm done. And uh, you know, this will just be sitting by my sewing machine and anytime I need a leader, I will take two pieces of fabric out and sew them together. And uh, I'm thinking maybe half square triangles. So uh, I have a bunch of fabric here. So like I said, this is old, old clothing and sheets that I've cut up. And I thought um, I could trim them down to squares just so that they're ready to go. And uh, so I have a bunch of like light colored fabrics. This must have been a sheet. This is like an old flannel or something. I don't know. I don't even have a memory of where this came from. Um, but I have, you know, some lighter colors and some darker colors. So uh, let's, let's make sure that I'm cutting lights so I have a pile of lights and darks cutting both so I'm not just, you know, getting a bunch of darks. So in theory, eventually, I'll have a bunch of squares that are the dark colors and then a bunch of squares that are light colors. And then whenever I sew, I will just sew some of these together on the diagonal and I'll eventually end up with a whole pile of half square triangles. So I think that is my plan. It is a 
Just a cutting night then tonight, you guys. So let's see what we have going on here. Ooh, this is almost, this is just like a light fabric. So anyway, I'm just gonna trim this up tonight. So this is a little bit bigger than my um, board here, and a little stretchier. So I'm just gonna go trim and trim and trim. And if I have a pile of excess, we're just gonna deal with that tonight. Two and a half strip, make wonderful two and a half inch squares. I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm actually gonna do like three inch squares uh, just because I'm going to do that half square triangle technique where I sew on either side and then uh, um, I should hopefully end up with um, some half square triangles that are around two and a half inches. Hopefully that sounds right. It doesn't really matter, you know, as long as I have them all consistent and I kind of like the idea, even if these end up being different sizes, I like the idea of kind of improv piecing a, a pile of things together. So I'm not too worried on this on the size. Four and a half inch for that. So four and a half seems a little bit big. I, I'm, a, I'm just gonna do three. This just seems like a happy little um, size to have sitting around. Maybe it's not common. Like I know like charm packs are are um, like two and a half inches. So in theory, something consistent like that might be a good idea, but I don't know. I like the idea of three. Ooh, Lucy, you're crocheting an afghan. About halfway done, nice. I've been itching to knit another afghan, but I'm holding off because I'm doing, I'm trying not to start more new projects. I, um, I kind of started a, uh, a new project tonight. It's not really a new project. It's just some mending. So I have this shirt, kind of like that shirt of my husband's that, that we worked on at the last Finish It Friday or a couple Finish It Fridays ago where I mended his, his old sweatshirt. I have a, I did laundry today, massive, massive amounts of laundry, actually today and yesterday. Um, and uh, so it's hard to cut and talk, but there was some that needed repair, so I've been doing some mending. So three inch, Lucy, you say three inch squares will result in two inch half square triangles. That sounds good to me. I like that idea. All right, and you know what? I think I can get, there's this little strip here. I think I can get a little bit on the bottom here. One small three inch square here. So we're gonna have some excess still. And at this point, I might just keep the excess for just like stuffing or something like that. Um, just because this is already scrap fabric. You know, I don't know if I need to keep saving it. <laughs> so let's just, uh, all this excess that isn't quite big enough, uh, we just will, we'll just toss, not toss, but I'll use it as like I said, as um, uh, just stuffing for, for something. Uh, Don, I did start, I did start my uh, sheet pillow. So that's kind of the other project I've been doing just in the evenings is working on that sheet pillow. I'm gonna just layer these together. and then cross cut the three inches. So that's that's the other project. And I feel really good about, I mean, that one's taking forever, but it, I feel really good about it because that was an unfinished project that I've had sitting around for, oh God, a couple of years now. And I finally got the knitting bug again. So I've been working on, on that. But, you know, this has been itching at me too, just to have all these extra squares sitting around ready, just ready for the leaders. I, I'm pretty excited about this. And uh, you know, you'll totally get what I mean. Like once we start sewing 
up a project again on Monday, sewing up more blocks. So I think about right here, if I can cut through all this. I haven't switched my blade in a little while. I should probably do that again. All right. Or just rotating that around. This is kind of a pretty fabric. The fun thing about this clothing is that it's it's fabric that I probably wouldn't normally have purchased. You know what? I'm going to get my... I like my little square here. I just really like all the markings on this one. I like um, with the Omni Grid rulers that when it comes to a point, the point um, doesn't have a line on top of it. Uh, so I can kind of center my the point of the fabric in there and I, I, I find that super helpful. All right, some three inch squares coming up. Whole stacks of them here. So like I said, I think I'm gonna keep kind of dark colors together and light colors together. Cause then hopefully in theory, I end up with, you know, a bunch of half square triangles that, um, Oh, good. I can get three out of there. Half square triangles that are light on one side and, and dark on the other. But I'm super excited about this concept. So, uh, um, you know, so I'll end up with a whole pile of just itty bitty two inch half square triangles. Ugh, I'm gonna have to trim them all eventually. Forgot about that part. <laughs> oh, well. Um, not always wild about trimming. But I love that this is a project that's going to be done, like, by magic, you know? Because we wouldn't have normally, you know, normally we would have just used our little leaders and enders. But instead, we are going to have magic half square triangles. So chances are I probably will end up keeping all of, all of um, these squares or all of the excess fabric, just because I can't throw this stuff away. So these aren't all going to be perfect, but that's okay. All right, so here's my pile of for real scraps and uh, my first stack of squares. So man, we are going to get so many um, half square triangles out of this. I just want to place them right side up right away just so I can grab without much thinking when I do use them as leaders. So a little extra step now, but I think I'll be happy about it later. Oop, that is a scrap. This definitely feels different than the normal quilting weight fabric that I use. This this is some from some super soft shirt or skirt or something. I don't recognize this at all, so I am not quite sure where some of these fabrics came from. Um, <laughs> they're that old, I guess. But I just totally don't even recognize them. Yes, exactly. Our grandmothers used all the fabrics they had to make quilts, and I love that. So again, these are just this these have been sitting in a bin for years for the intention of me to eventually use them and you know I always say I'm gonna use up stuff and or start a project and you know it takes ages but hey eventually eventually I, I get going on them yeah so I'm gonna just have a stack of light colored fabrics and a stack of dark colored fabrics sitting in that basket and um should have some like little divider in there or something. And then I'll just grab and make half square triangles and I guess throw it back in the basket. I do still want to do the granny squares. We we have that granny square quilt that will start up eventually here as well. Okay. A stack, there we are. So, I don't know, I think let's just, 
I might actually kind of set them like upright, but I don't know, let's... Oh, I think I can get two stacks in there. So a stack of uh, darks and a stack of lights. All right, so I'm gonna do a light colored and right now it looks like my, my light colored fabrics are gonna consist of this, this crazy, um, I don't know, this green flannel that we got going on here. I think I will just cross cut. Oh, this must've came from an arm. Look how it's cut. But of what? What would someone wear like this? Was it a bathrobe? I, I just, I have no idea. Maybe it was a sheet. I don't know, but this looks like a an arm. Oh, Sandra is suggesting a, a light and dark basket. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. I wonder if I have another basket sitting around. I am in the small space, so having just the one might might be better for me. We'll see. So I do kind of like the idea that we're taking all these odd shaped things and and um, making them into shapes that make sense. Oop. I didn't quite cut that all the way. Just feels good to use up this stuff or to finally be finally be using it. It's been on the list for a long time. So even though it's kind of like we're starting a new project, it's still still a finish it Friday. Ooh, you cut fabric to make new oven mitts today. Oh, that's nice, Irene. I've never made oven mitts. I do think, so I, I have a little sampler pack of some batting, and I do think within that sampler pack, I think there is some of that um, batting or interfacing or whatever that you can use for heat sensitive stuff. So I don't, I don't know what you would call that, but like that silver whatever that you can sew into things to make them um, to make them, um, uh, you know, so you can handle hot things. Maybe we'll have to try using those. Okay, so that scrap is less. Oh, I think these actually kind of look kind of cute together. No oh, man, you know, I'm gonna probably have to use, I'm gonna probably have to use all those scraps and improv piece them together or something yet. <coughs> Too sad to not not sew them together. Yeah, insul bright. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. That insul bright. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of matching these up a little bit more, getting them on a, a solid line here. These look pretty good as is. Again, I'm just lining these all up to trim. I think this might be a little more than what what my my rotary cutter can handle, but we'll see. So this is the slow and steady. Uh, little project here, but I think I'm going to be super happy with the results. Okay, now I'm going to use that little ruler that I like. All right, I want to make sure that I'm getting all the edges here. Yeah, I think we're okay about right here. Yeah, there's a lot of fabric, although it's fluffy. Maybe it'll cut easy. Eh. All right, scraps. Let's rotate this around. And I can just have these scraps laying around too. So every once in a while, I can just cut a few more, a few more squares and have them ready. That'd be good. Okay. And get another three out of here. Ah, all right, this guy's done. I think this one 
here. I think this can open up. You know what? I should do some hot pads because we have just these two old, burnt up looking hot pads. And it would be nice to revamp those. I just don't think of them at all, but they're hanging and they're, they're visible. Those would be something nice to just to redo. I'll have to think about that. Okay, let's get these all right side up again. Whole pile of light colored. So this is kind of a flannel. So all of these, all of these fabrics are going to just be so weird together, but um, I think, you know, that's kind of the beauty of it. <laughs> we don't know what we're getting um, from all these leaders sewn together. I love, I still like just love this idea though. Um, I mean, we're gonna use the leaders. We'll use it every time we sew at the beginning and the end of every seam. So just think about how many triangles we'll be sewing together, you know? Half square triangles we'll be making. <laughs> you keep using the old pot holders because you don't want to get the new ones dirty. That's funny, that's probably what I would do too. Alrighty, so let's just plop these right next to them. Oh, perfect for um, for lights and darks right next to each other. And then the like finished ones I can just kind of stuff in the side if I have like a good column here. So, all right, let's do another dark, but let's do, let's try a different one. Let's cut up this chunk, see what this ends up being. This must be a sleeve. Ooh, maybe a back of a, oh no, I think maybe a sleeve, a sleeve kind of like this. Oh gosh, like the biggest, biggest sleeve ever. Um, all right, uh, what would be a good way to cut these? I think maybe just kind of how we've been doing here. I suppose I could iron it, but eh. That sounds like too much work. All right, I think I can get, I think we'll just start right here maybe. You put cut up jeans in, inside your pot holders. Oh, Connie, I like that idea. So I have a lot of jean fabric laying around here yet. So something like that would be perfect. That totally makes sense that you could do that too, I think. Use um, jeans as the inside of pot holders. Seems like it would make sense. Okay, and I'm fully expecting these half square triangles to be pretty wonky, but uh, again, they can still be sewn together even if they're wonky. You'll have to view, you will have to view together without marking with a pencil of folding. Oh, that's, yeah, so I think I will fold, each time I throw a leader in, for the time being, I'm gonna just fold one of the sides and that will be my center line. And then I'll do, you know, then you do a, you sew a seam a quarter inch from that center line. But yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get used to sewing it without that that center line marking after a while. For sure. And the nice thing too is that in theory we'll be cutting these all down afterwards. So even if I sew them a little wonky, you know, I should they should be big enough that I can trim down. Okay, now we're getting a little wonky. I'm gonna zip you forward over here. And I'm 
try and match that up a little bit. So before we're done tonight, I will throw one of these leaders on my machine and move all my other leaders out of here so I don't accidentally start using my old leaders again. I want to just use these new ones. All right, let's stack these. So these are all a little odd, so I think I'm going to open them up to stack. Do I even have three? Yeah. I think I have a three inch piece in there. Okay, let's line them all up on this line here. Hey, Catherine. Uh, it is Finish It Friday tonight, so uh, that's when on the first of the month, uh, or the first, uh, not the first of the month, the first Friday of the month, I stop working on what I'm working on and uh, do something else instead. Try and finish up, try to finish up a project or get at least, you know, an hour further ahead on a project. So today, this is a project that I've had in my head to do forever. Um, first of all, it's two things. One is I've had this clothing that I've just been saving, you know, from years and years and years and years ago that I just, I want to sew into something. I want to sew it into a quilt or something. And, uh, um, it's just been sitting around waiting for me to do that. So I'm cutting it up into squares. So it's ready for me to sew into a quilt but I'm also going to use them as my leaders and enders. Um, so I, I have a little basket here and I'm going to just have that basket sitting next to my sewing machine. And, and anytime I need to use a leader um, to start, start my next row of stitches, I will break out one of these um, or a pair of these squares, a light and a dark one, and I'm gonna just sew piles of half square triangles together. So it's a way to uh, get going on this project that I wanted to do for ages and then also uh, ooh that's a lot. Um, also give kind of value to my leaders and enders. They'll actually turn into something when I'm done. I love that. Okay, this is definitely pretty dang wonky, but that's okay. I think we'll survive. All right. <laughs> I think this fabric is the same for the right side and wrong side, so I won't have to flip those around just because it's um, one of those woven fabrics that are the same on both sides. I'll check though um, on the pieces because not all of them are gonna be squares like this guy's done. I think we have some other ones in here. Let's just page through quick. Oh, your daughter's puppy keeps stealing your leaders when they fell on the floor. <laughs> ah, yep. Well, yeah, so this would be a good idea because um, I would never have these sitting around. They would just be either attached to something or they would go right back into the basket. All right, so I think these all look like good squares here. I thought I'd have some weird ones in here, but I think we're good. So there's a little stack. And now we gotta open these ones to finish them up. This is kind of a Looks like it'd be a pretty shirt, or it was at one point. But if this was the arm, um, it looked like an arm, but it was huge. So this is a, like a massively large sleeve, like bigger than um, what my husband would be wearing, I'm thinking. So I'm thinking that's why it got nicked. 
why I got sent to the dead pile. All right, I think I think this one can get one more in. Ugh, I gotta keep all these. I gotta just sew them together. I see an improv um, quilt in my future then too. I'm saving a bunch of scraps already for an improv quilt. Maybe that little scrap can get tossed, but all the rest of these I think I'm gonna have to keep. Okay, so here's another pile of what I would call darks. So I'm just gonna set them on top of there. Um, it'll just be a little mix that we grab. All right, so I'm gonna do another light colored ones. And you know, I still have a lot of this green, so I think we'll just keep cutting this green. These might've been like pajama pants or something. Actually, I have so much of it that I, I think it must've been like a sheet. Although it's not cut like a sheet, like this is cut like a sleeve, isn't it? Maybe it was a bathrobe or something. I don't know. You use the cutoff parts when doing flippy corners for the flying geese. Oh, so flying geese for your leaders. Oh, that's awesome. So that's basically what we're doing here, but I'm just gonna do them all as like half square triangles. All right, let's get a good edge here. Or a good enough edge, I should say. Roshana, you have a, two big tubs of denim jeans. <laughs> Together we can make a ton of quilts. I totally agree. And it's kind of crazy. Like I had, like I said, I had this whole bin of uh, fabric, or not fabric, but clothing bits like this that I've already cut away from, you know, I've cut the buttons off and cut the, you know, collars off and all that. But I just grabbed a few little chunks of fabric scraps here tonight and I'm gonna barely be able to cut through any of it and I swear just what I grabbed could easily make a whole quilt and uh, it didn't even make a dent in in that bin which is kind of scary. <laughs> so I don't know I see a lot of quilts being made out of old clothes in my future or something. There's one other thing I would like to try one of these days, but it's going to be way in the future, like once we finish one of these kind of rag quilts, I guess. Um, but I love to try dyeing fabric. So um, I don't know. Have you guys heard of over dyeing before? Uh, it's where you, you dye something that's already like been colored or dyed. So like like these, for example, you know, we got this, this has got this green in and our other bits have, you know, it's different colors. Uh, like it would be cool to try dyeing it like an indigo dye or something. Just make a whole front of the quilt or maybe make the whole quilt. I don't know. I haven't looked into it, but then either like bleach it or dye it. Oh, that's one thing too that I've seen people do online is they'll they'll bleach colors and they'll all kind of get lighter, obviously, um, but it all kind of blends, all the colors kind of blend together a little bit more just because they're all closer to the same value, like they're all like a lighter color. I think something like that would be really fun to try. So, you know, making these quilts where the colors are so wacky together, you know, I didn't even look at the colors at all. I'm just going straight, you know, lights and darks. And it's going to be like just this hideous melange of fabrics. Um, but then taking those crazy fabrics and then dyeing the whole thing like one color. And, you know, the dye will react with the different fabrics in different ways. And I don't know. I thought that would always be kind of a neat thing to try. I've never dyed anything before. Um, so it would be cool to do. I don't know. It's in the back of my head is what would be a fun experiment. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe one of these crazy scrappy quilts will end up um, 
we'll end up dying it one of these days. Some summer day. We'll get a big tub and fill it with dye and see what happens. <laughs> You dyed a sweatshirt, but that's it. Yeah, I've never, I've never done anything with dye that I can remember, but I don't know. So it's kind of on my, I always have like the like crafts that I want to try that are just like calling to me. I have to try that craft. I need to know what it's like. Uh, and, and dyeing is kind of there. I've never, never done that. So one of these days it's going to happen. Then I'll decide if I like it or not. Do it once and be like, eh, do I want to do this anymore or not? All right, I think these two are dead, but I think we can get another one out of here. Okay. So again, I just want to make these all the same direction because it has to happen sometime. Might as well do it now. Okay, these are the same. Yeah, tie dyeing used to be super popular. Indigo dyeing has been popular like as of late um, or the past few years or so. I think, I think something like that would be pretty. And I just love, I just love that color too, that deep that deep blue. It's kind of like why I like all like my blue jean quilt and which is another project that's not done yet. Um, but I like that kind of blue. So that would be fun to like over dye this with blue. Oh yeah, I've seen um, some people do rust dyeing before too where you, I don't know, I'm sure you put vinegar or some sort of whatever. I don't know what the mixture is, but then you lay your fabric onto rusted objects and the rust will um, go on the fabric and make neat patterns and, and stuff too. But no, if I would over dye it, I would do like one just like bold all over color. Like even like a rich like fuchsia would be kind of cool. Ooh, you dyed a uh, cross stitch project to make it look, to make it look, um, or you tea dyed it to make it look antique. That's a neat idea. I know um, my husband, he, um, in college, he had a graphic design class and he tea dyed or coffee dyed one or the other um, paper to make it look antique for a project. All right, our little stack's getting bigger. All right, let's do another darkish color. How about. We got some other little smaller pieces in here. It's mostly these plaids just because they are coming from from shirts. Like this one's clearly from a, a shirt sleeve, I think. Oh, you know what? This this funny area right here, there must have been um, buttons there that I cut out. So there's actually like a ton of prep work done on <laughs> on these already uh, from when I cut them out of um, the fabric pieces or the, the clothing that it used to be. I'm going to trim it right here, I think, where I can start to get a long edge. You know, it'll be interesting to see how long it takes to use these pieces up because, you know, it feels like we're not cutting a whole lot tonight. I mean, you know, it's cutting. Cutting just takes me forever and it's just, I don't know, we got all these odd pieces so they're not all like these perfect, um, perfect easy three inch pieces. So it doesn't feel like I'm cutting up a lot. 
So I wonder, I wonder if it'll take a long time to use up for leaders or if they'll just be gone in like one project. Probably be gone really quick. I'm gonna have to keep fabric around here just to keep trimming it up, I think. I suppose I could keep a little basket here of of like these these things that are um, some of these shirts that are just need to be cut up into the three inch squares. That also kind of sounds like more clutter in the area. You've seen people oh make little girls dresses from dad's shirts. I I have seen that too online and ugh, they're so adorable. So um, what Shauna's talking about is like when I don't know I've seen this online too. Someone who takes like super large or just you know men's shirts so bigger than what a little kid would wear obviously and then just uh tweaking it so that it's like this cute little dress like a cute little girl's dress with you know buttons going up the front and just frilly and sweet but it was made out of a, a men's shirt i just think that's just such a sweet idea uh, Lucy, I don't think I'm going to draw lines for the half square triangles. I think I'll just fold, fold them in half. Um, when I fold them in half and crease them, then I have just like a temporary line there. I can see the fold and I think that's just what we'll do. And, and uh, oh, I forget who said it here, but I think after a while, um, it'll just be, you'll just know where to sew. Like I'll get used to that kind of half inch away. Or I'll just, you know, I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm hoping that I'll just get the feel for it a little bit. Okay, this is another like shirting fabric that I don't think has a right or wrong side. Can I get two out of here? I don't know. Haha, -ha, just get two just on the edge. There we go. Okay, so here we are, another set. Um, I'm gonna call these darks just cause they're dark next to that white still. So I kinda, I'm kind of have a mixture of darks, but I'm st I still have all these as the lights. There was one other light in here Like I have this kind of, uh, this was, must have been a shirt of mine at some point. Oh gosh, there's hardly anything here. Oh look, yeah, this is a, definitely a women's shirt, shirt. So this is, this was probably a dart here. Um, and a sleeve probably went here. Gosh, can I even get anything out of here? Let's, this one's going to be a little bit more Frankenstein-y to cut up, but let's give it a try. Cause it'd be nice to have a different light color in here. So I'm just going to trim this edge. Okay. We'll be able to get one three inch piece out of here. Oh, I'm not quite far enough up, but we'll just tear it. Okay, there we go. And I should be able to, I don't know, is this three inches? Let's see. Oh yeah, I should be able to just get a long three inch strip out of here. I could fold it in half, but I'm afraid I won't quite get it. Yeah, just on the edge of three inches. This is pretty. This would have made a pretty fabric in general. Um, not as a shirt. I like just the white and the blue together for these um, pretty florals. I like the amount of space in here too. Pretty. Uh, 
Okay, so here's, we're right on that three inch mark. Oh, and it looks like I didn't quite make it over here. So we'll have to trim that off. I didn't quite make it at the top here either. There, so this, we won't get any three inches off. So we'll, we'll save that for our little scrap pile. Take a look at the scraps later too. Okay, let's cross cut. Oh, this has a right and wrong side, just barely though. For this one, if I ended up sewing it on the wrong side, it would still be pretty, I think. Definitely keep all these little scraps. You know what? I'm going to flip this around quick, even though I have a nice cut, but then I don't have to, then all the sides are um, facing with the right side up right away. Then I don't have to go through them and flip them around. Okay. Ooh, can I get three inches there? Not quite, not quite. Bummer. These are pretty cut up as squares too. Hey Robin, I am just cutting up squares, these little three inch squares. I'm gonna use all of these as leaders um, for, for an eventual quilt. So whenever I'm sewing on any other project, I will, um, I will use these as sewing leaders. And then eventually I will have a whole pile of half square triangles that I didn't have before. So we're just prepping pieces for that tonight. This is all fabric that I've had laying around for ages and ages for the intention of um, sewing into a quilt. But now I like, I like this idea of magically sewing it into a quilt because it'll all be the leaders. Oh, your mother made all your school clothes out of men's suits. Oh, fun. I would like to learn how to do that yet. I haven't uh, really done much with clothing. But that's, again, that's another thing that's on my radar that I'd like to just really dig into one of these days. I think this one, yep, a little short. So this probably could be considered a light, but I'm going to put it in my dark pile. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it fits better under. Maybe this should go in the light pile. It could be like a one of the darker lights. <laughs> Something that just kind of um, stands out with the other lights. Oh, you're looking forward to eating um, football food on Sunday. Oh, that's fun, Gretchen. I think I will probably be missing it, which is just fine. I would have to go out of my way to find it. We don't have um, normal TV anymore, or we just have an antenna, and that doesn't always 
doesn't always get normal stations. Is it on is it on Fox or NBC? I don't even know. We sometimes can get NBC, but not all the time. Um, but Fox we used to be able to get, but now now that doesn't always come in anymore. I do usually like watching the commercials, but they've been kind of meh lately, I think. Oh, congrats on the pineapple black, Don! It's always nice to finish that up. Yeah, that was a hefty one, that pineapple black, too. All right, that's a few little blocks here. I think I am going to put those in the... Uh, should they go in the... I don't know. I think I might. I think I think they better go in the dark pile. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep them in the dark pile here. All right, I want to do a little bit more here. We'll do well. Actually, it's almost it's almost time. So why don't we just leave them at this? I'm gonna I'm gonna put these guys. In. Uh, I'm gonna put them on the bottom. I want to start with these blues. So, all right, I still have, I mean, you guys, I barely cut up anything. Like, look at all this stuff that I um, brought up. Oh, what else is in here? Ooh, these are some, got some weird Hawaiian thing in here. What's this pink? Ooh, another crazy Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> oh, those will definitely have to add into here. But yeah, look at all this. I have hardly cut through anything. Um... But I think we'll get a pretty good quilt out of this. So I'm going to leave leave those fabrics around. Maybe I'll get another basket to put them in. But so here's, here's the idea here. Um, so I will just have this sitting around. And anytime I need a leader, I will pick um, one of each, a light and a dark. Oop, I got, I got too many here. Okay, and then we'll head down to the machine. And these little guys here, that's what I'm hoping to replace. So I'm not going to have these laying around anymore. I'm going to have my basket. And uh, uh, so let's get one in the machine ready to go for the next time we sew. All right, so I'm going to just, I'm going to fold, just put a diagonal in here. And... Uh, that's my diagonal line instead of drawing it on with pencil. So right sides together. And I'm going to sew on either side so I don't have any, any waste. So I get two half square triangles out of this. Okay, and that's it. There's my, my leader ready to go for next time. Let's trim this, this guy off. So I don't want these guys sitting around anymore. I'm just going to have these. So this is ready to go. So next time, next time I um, am sewing, I will, you know, start sewing my block, whatever seam I'm doing, then I'll grab two more of those and it will go on the end. And then I can snip this off. And then when I sew the next seam after that, I will use this one again, but I'll sew on the opposite side. So I'll get those two half square triangles around it. Let's just kind of peek. I'm not going to take it off because I, I want it for the leader, but ugh, it's going to be like, that is the cutest half square triangle, isn't it? With a little bit of floral and then this plaid. Okay, I love this idea already. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be there till we work on um, another project. And uh, the basket will be sitting around here for next time, too. So, all right, guys, I'm going to flip you around and we'll call it an evening here. There we go. So here's my little basket. So, again, so this is all we cut tonight. It's hardly anything, but who knows? Uh, it'll be at least, you know, at least a good 30 half square triangles and then times two. So... You know, this little bin should get us about 60 half square triangles, and that's not too shabby at all, I don't think. So here's uh, my scraps. Uh, here's all the, like, the scrap fabric left over, so I'll probably keep those as well and sew them together just because I can't throw them out. Ugh, I'm, I'm just making a bigger mess for myself, aren't I? But, 
you know, we'll see how this goes. I just like the idea and I like that I'm finally sewing together some of these fabrics. Oh, some of these shirts. So awesome, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I definitely wouldn't have brought this project out if it wasn't for Finish It Friday and hanging out with you guys here. So I appreciate that. I finally feel like I'm going on it. Uh, so have a great weekend, you guys. And I will see you again on uh, Monday at uh, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. So have a great evening and I will see you then. Good night.